Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about the single line if statement. That's right, it's like the normal if statement, except it's much more simplistic and does much less. So it should be pretty easy to learn. Definitely wanna know of it because you're probably gonna run into it in code. So that's what we're gonna be diving into today. But before we dive into that, you know what? You need to dive into Dev Mountain. That's right. Dev Mountain is our sponsor, and what is Dev Mountain, you might ask? Well, it is a coding bootcamp that offers classes in lots of different things, including software development, design, and software testing. So, for example, one of their classes is a JavaScript-based web development class. So if you want to know how to use JavaScript, React, and all kinds of other JavaScript stuff, <laughs> then you can go to their curriculum with housing at no additional cost and have a basically a career-centric guide into being a JavaScript developer. So by the end of their curriculum, their goal is to help you get a job in the industry and have the skills needed to succeed at that. And if for some reason you can't make it to one of their in-person classes, they do have online options. So check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. If you mention I sent you their way, they'll give you $250 off. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, now let's dive back into what we were originally diving for. <laughs> and that is the single line if statement. So it, it looks very similar. You're gonna have if, and this is really small, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And you have an expression in here. So for example, we can say if name is equal to Claire. Now the thing is, you just have one statement after the if expression, so you can't have two. Some people will put this on the next line like so, my recommendation is to put it on the same line. So we're going to say console.log, and we're just going to say something like, hello, just anything really, honestly. And when we do a refresh, we can say Claire, and you can see it gives us that output. Now that's basically it, there's no else clause, it's all it does. The thing is, if you don't put in Claire, you put something else, it's not going to execute this line here. It can look a little funny when you're first getting used to it because you don't see the curly braces, so it's almost hard to associate this with the if expression here. But they're definitely associated, and I believe that's actually where a lot of confusion comes from because a lot of people will put this down on the next line, like so, and then they'll think, hey, you know, I actually want to do something else. You know, I want to I want to create a variable inside of this if statement. So they'll just say, like, you know, let x equals, let x be 5. And what they don't realize is that only the first statement is associated with the if and not the second one. So this one here is going to happen every single time. So for example, if this was a console log, this is going to happen every time. Yep. So when we do a refresh, and if we put someone who's not Claire, you can see we still get that output. So it's a very common mistake, I've done it. Uh, maybe I'm just a total noob and I don't know what I'm doing, probably. <laughs> so what I recommend to basically help prevent this, two things. First thing, by habit, you should take the the statement and put it on the same line. So then when you see a second statement like this, you know, hmm, something's not up, it shouldn't be indented there, and it's actually its, its own statement, not part of the if. So that's the first thing. If you always put this on the same line as the if statement, it'll help reduce mistakes. The second thing is to just not use a single line if statement. <laughs> that's the easiest way to reduce confusion. But as you get better at coding, it shouldn't be too crazy. But if you're, if you're either a really early beginner or you're working with beginners, then you might just wanna consider always using curly braces for an if statement, even if that means putting them on the, f the same line. But then you know that it's very clear that only the stuff within the curly braces is being executed. So that's a single, that's a single line if, very simple, nothing too crazy. Hopefully that will enlighten your life and your soul and give you peace and happiness. So that's all I got in this video. The next video, we're gonna be talking about something else. So be sure to check it out and don't forget to subscribe because that you know, really helps out my channel here. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, my battery's almost dead, yikes.